we went yeah. to Montreal, and you're the only guy who's appeared with Drew Carey on that final night of the Yeah, it was like a fluke. Uh, I was, um, every, every day you go back to your room and check your, your schedule, and they tell you what's going to happen the next day. So I was actually flying out that night when my, a friend I met, an Australian comic, said, you can't go home, you've got a show tomorrow. I'm like, no, dude, my plane's leaving tonight. He showed me the schedule, and it was like a showcase of... It's called the talk of the festival. It happens at the end of the festival, and it's like comics they feel should get another showing. So I quickly phoned home, changed my tickets, and while we were doing the show, Drew Carey popped backstage and said, hey, man, can I get a spot? And you can. If you Drew Carey, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> so, so then I was like, I'm doing a show with Drew Carey. It was like amazing. And, uh, and then after the show, it was super cool. He, he said, um, are you the African guy? I'm like, yeah. I said, OK, well, um, come with me. So I'm like, where are we going? He said, like, why are you asking? It's Drew Carey. Get in the cab. And so we did. And we had this phenomenal night out. We um, went for a few drinks, just the four of us. And then we went. He said, it's my birthday. Uh, come to the party. So we went to this crazy nightclub till about 3 in the morning. And, uh, and then he said he sent everyone home. Like he just he said we all have shows tomorrow. It's time to be professional. Apparently 3 a.m. is the hooligan cutoff. <laughs> <laughs> so so we did that. It was amazing.